This is Peter Yu, publicist of Drop My Email, the most comprehensive email backup solution in the cloud. And today I'll be talking about LinkedIn and Facebook ads. So on LinkedIn and Facebook ads, there are five steps to pay attention to that are exactly the same. One, targeting, choosing the right audience. Two, making it effective, having the right wording to make the point. Three, multiple ads, run more than one at one time to gauge effectiveness and to always get to your target audience. Four, setting the right budget, choosing between cost per click versus cost per impressions. Five, analytics, working out your click through rates and refreshing it monthly. So let's go into LinkedIn. So on LinkedIn, the social network for working professionals, this is how you would do ads. So clicking your home, clicking on to advertise on LinkedIn, and then you will get into this page. So we would continue here. What is our ad campaign name? Drop my email. You can choose the language, what type. You can have basic text and image, or you can choose video. Now the ad variation. Our web page we would like to promote is here. What is our headline? What is our opening? And we're going to the next step. Now targeting. Targeting is important. So you choose who and where and what kind of per person would you like to speak to or would you like the ad to get to. So we would like to target in Asia, in Europe, and North America. Next, our targeting would be about companies who are in the high-tech arena, especially those in the internet business. And finally, we're choosing a job title. So the person that will make a decision on whether or not to purchase our services at Drop My Email would be the CTO, the Chief Technology Officer. Other things that you could choose from could be what school they're from, what skills they have, what group they belong to, gender as well as age. So these are all up to you to decide who or what you like to target. So for us, we've already chosen all three categories. Next step. The budget. So payment methods and daily budget. This is up to you to decide how much money you're willing to spend and how much you think would be worthwhile. LinkedIn will always give you a suggestion based on how many people in our target audience you're looking for. This is a little bit high due to the fact that CTOs are a lot of people want to target CTOs to have them buy their services. So you can choose either here a pay-per-click or pay-per-thousand impressions. So it depends on which type of audience or how you would like to reach them. Would you like them to click it as your CPC or you'd like more people to see your ad, not necessarily click it, then you have CPM. Your daily budget, choose what is comfortable, what is the amount that you would like to spend. Finally, also you can decide how long you want it to run. It will run continuously or until a specific date. And then enter your payment information and so on and so forth. This is how you do LinkedIn ads. Next, let's go into Facebook. Facebook, the, the social network. And here with uh, your ads manager, you click into this and you end up in here. So all the campaigns you've run before and now you can create a new campaign. So create an ad. What would you like your ad to be about? And we'll be promoting our Facebook page. So what would you like to do? Get more page likes, promote page posts, and so on. We would like to get more page like, like to get closer to 16,000. So the wording again is important. What would you like to say? So our key is email backup. Make it more attractive. Then the text, the easiest way to backup email on the web website 
the image that's already chosen and you get to choose whether you would like to do either simple marketplace ad which is what we have here uh, promoted and page posts or you have sponsored stories the difference between the three kinds of ads is when you have a marketplace ad it's for new user targeting and for new user acquisitions for promoted and page posts is to engage new and current fans Finally, for sponsored stories, it is for fans and friends of fans targeting. So, moving along, same thing, choosing your audience. Who is it that you would like to target? So we have people in Singapore, we're going to target the people in the United States, as well as the United Kingdom. We choose an age appropriate, so only working adults, so nothing less than that. Let's just say it's uh, 20 years and above. Men and women, their interest would be in the internet. Who's interested in internet functions? There we go, we narrow it down to 2 million people. And what we have here only people not connected to drop my email so we get in touch with people who are not already aware of what we have next pricing so choose what's a budget that you would like to spend you run it continuously starting today until we decide it would end and finally when it's all done place an order facebook and linkedin when you're done buying ads you can always choose different things that you want to do so that you could manage your ads and also know how well your ads are doing so with the reports page they will tell you what is your click-through rate you can choose how you want it and then generate the report so that you can get statistics like impressions clicks click-through rates spend all this will be available for you to decide whether you need to do more or do less the ideal is to have a click-through rate of 0.025 percent or better and if you find your statistics are falling, refresh your ads monthly to redo the ads so that you can connect with your fans and connect with the target audience better. And this is how you do LinkedIn and Facebook ads.